This weekend, the church gathers for the last Sunday of Epiphany when we always read the narratives of the Transfiguration, that hike up the mountain with Jesus, Peter, James, and John, and Jesus is transfigured, and the disciples see him in a new way. And if you know your scripture at all, you know that the story of the Transfiguration always follows the first prediction of Jesus' suffering and death uh, on the cross. It's kind of the two are juxtaposed. You have the darkness of the world being redeemed by God with the, with the, with the final act. The transfiguration follows the predictions of his crucifixion. Easter follows Good Friday. I think you get the point. I wanna share with you a really you know, beautiful little story that might uh, encapsulate for us the truth of how God brings new life out of what we think is broken or scary or old. It's written by a Megan McKenna, and it, it goes like this. It tells the story of a king in a small kingdom who had a perfect diamond that had been in the king's family for generations. He kept it on display for all to see and appreciate, and as people from all over the country came to look at it, they felt that the diamond was theirs. It, it gave them a sense of pride and dignity and worth. One day a soldier came and announced to the king that the diamond was cracked, despite the fact that it was guarded night and day and no one had touched it. When the king ran to check, sure enough, there was a crack through the middle of the diamond. The king immediately summoned all the jewelers of the land who confirmed the bad news that the diamond was irredeemably flawed. The king was crushed, as were the people who felt that they had lost everything. Then an old man appeared, who announced that he could fix the precious gem and make it better than it was before. Although the king was hesitant, he gave the diamond to the old man, who promised to bring the repaired jewel back to, in a week. When the stone was returned, the king could not believe his eyes. It was magnificent and even more beautiful than before. The old man had used the crack that ran down the middle of the stone as a stem and carved an intricate, full-blown rose with leaves and thorns onto the diamond's surface. The king was overjoyed and offered the old man half of his kingdom since he had taken something beautiful and made it even more exquisite. But the old man refused, saying, I didn't do that at all. What I did was take something flawed and cracked at its heart and turned it into something beautiful. That, my friends, is the kernel of the gospel, that God takes what is cracked and flawed and scary and hopeless, does his masterful work on it, and it becomes more beautiful than ever. That diamond, of course, is you and me. May you trust God with that kind of transfiguration in your life this day and always. We'll see you Sunday.